looks like there's thousands of tiny creatures in that plant. Very interesting. What's on Gezira Island? I found a crab flower shell. Fantastic. Uh, oh, a boat. Interesting. And, <laughs> hey, I can talk to it. Grar, I'm a big sea monster. You are Grargatron. Well, I'm Grargatron the sea monster. I'm big and scary. Grar. Uh, actually, I'm just a baby. But someday I'll be huge and I'll carry boats on my back. And little islands. And maybe seals will come and play on my scales. Do you think the seals will like me? Do you like plankton, Grargatron? Mmm, plankton is yummy. You do. Do you like water? Sometimes the water tastes bad lately. I don't know why. Aww. I'll help you, Grogatron. You have my promise. Uh, I don't think we've wandered around Aftonia enough. Uh, Medusa. Greetings, traveler. Excuse me if I don't toss her. Uh, turn around, not toss around. Yes, it is I, Medusa, the Gorgon of so many stories. Though, as you can see, the stories are at best exaggerated, at worst invented. My fame is mostly forgotten now, but there was a time when the tabloids would not leave me alone. Every detail of my life was either observed and distorted, or simply made up. Medusa, is she mistreating her snakes? Snakes? Excuse me. Is Medusa's stare harm and quarries? <laughs> Stoned inside Medusa's drug scandal. Perseus beheads Medusa, and all that piffle. What's the truth about me then? I am just another chthonic being, trying to find my way through life. I may be prettier than most, but that's not all there is to me. I do turn things to stone, but the effect isn't permanent unless I'm really angry. Interesting. Seagull? It'll turn back in a few days. <laughs> a week at most. What, what are you doing in Aftonia, Medusa? I have some family in the area, but the real reason I came here is because the people are so down to earth. They just don't care that I'm a celebrity. They do like to gossip. But somehow, it doesn't matter that there are all these stories about me. I'm just another citizen. No more respectable or special than anyone else. The only one who treats me differently is the mayor. And you're in the harbor because... I like standing here watching the waves. It's like looking at eternity. That must sound very silly. Hmm. Oracle. Mayor Kranian announced that his very unpopular policies here on the island are based on advice from the Oracle. It's destiny, he says, and everything else would lead to our destruction. I don't know about you, but it sounds an awful lot like something from a tabloid to me. Also, I've just met the creator of the world, and he said there's no such thing as a, uh, as fate. You don't know the Timber Tyrant? That's a shame. Have a nice day, Medusa. <laughs> a petrified seagull. It happens. Uh, would you like a melon? Sure, I'll take a melon. No? Alright. I don't trust. Uh, don't trust oracles. Well, have fun, Socrates. What's in here? Oh yeah, this place. I remember this mildly. Very, very mildly. Uh, stuff and things. Matt, do you know the Timber Tyrant? They always say he was a bad man, but was he? Blah, 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 blah. Crisis. Disorder. You are Matt. Whatever. Oh, this tiny guy. Uh, what about the future? The greatest problems is the childish laziness of its people and their lack of inventfulness. Uh, spend their days idly sitting. Look at that concept painting behind me. Imagine hotels, blah blah blah. I don't uh, care. Uh, economic results may vary. I remember that. An illustration of Mayor Cranion's planned Thera Beach 
fun, refreshing wellness mega hotel. It looks rather grey and blocky, honestly. Mayor Cranians collected Cranians collected of exotic drinks from the plateau of Lang. Interesting. Let's continue to wander around this place happily. Uh, Stavros, of course. Timber Tyrant, your opinion is he's a sad story. Hey, a goat! Costas Katsikas, om nom nom. Smell of the days, gentle goat gabardin and alliteration. What do you think of Aftonia? The Kastikas family has always lived in Aftonia. My parents were Aftonia people and their grandparents before them. Sometimes people tell me, why don't you go away? If making a living is so hard, why don't you move to Oneropolis? Well, I like it here. It's my home. My parents worked their whole life so I could have a little house to live in and a garden to plant my vegetables in. This is our land. Why should I give it all up? All these decades of work just because Lord Urzen tells me to. There is no reason, really. I'm Costas. Don't really have much to say. Just a regular working goat trying to make a living. Are you lazy? I work all morning, I work all afternoon, but when I take a break at midday to eat something, Mayor Cranian comes and tells me I'm lazy. What does he do except sit around and talk? Very fair. Um, you've got to grow vegetables yourself these days, it's all gotten so expensive. Why did the mayor think it was a good idea to import vegetables from the mainland when we can grow them right here perfectly well? I'll never understand it. The Oracle, what do you think? I don't understand things like that. I just understand the world that's before me. Work, home, food, people. I can't make my decisions because of some profit. Maybe the mayor knows something I don't. I guess he is the mayor for a reason after all. That's because people put him there. A library, that's quite nice. Flowers, currently writing its thesis on the biology of social insects may not be covered in bees, but it could be. A group of bees are having a planning session in these flowers, discussing important questions, like into whose food they'll fly today. Very, very pressing issues. Inside the library there's an owl named Sophia. Smell of the day is owl nations. Sophia, I am the librarian. I will defend this library and what it represents with my life, that is all. So it's solid. The library has stood in Aftonia in one form or another since the city was founded. Our ancestors believed that without knowledge, no civilization can survive in the long term. Our current leadership does not share that sentiment, and recently tried to have the library shut down. The state of disorder you see around you is what happens when a half-man, half-horse, all buffoon, tries to convince me to leave and surrender the books I am sworn to guard to the fire. He won't be trying again. <laughs> Matt, you fuck. Books are the most important invention in the history of the world. I quite agree with that. Books are gates to other worlds, documents of the past. They are enlightenment caught in ink, memories set down on paper. They let us remember the past, understand the present, and create the future. It is by how it treats books that we may judge a civilization. Does it offer them freely so wisdom and knowledge may spread? Does it hide them away? Does it ignore them? Does it allow some but not allow others? Does it burn them? That's actually a pretty good way to look at a civilization. It's not perfect, but it is a good first judgment. Crisis. What do you think? I have sometimes been asked by the people of Aftonia to offer my wisdom to Mayor Cranian and Lord Urzen. If only they had my knowledge of history, people say, perhaps they would act differently. But the error in their thinking is to assume that our poverty means Cranian and Urzen are failing. No, they know very well that to strangle a people with austerity will only cause a debt to increase and destroy a people's ability to trade cannot be a solution to their lack of funds. We are only in debt because what we had was gambled away and now we are trusting the gambler's advice 
as to how to gain our money back. We are being swindled. Yep, just about. Will you help me? Or do you need help, I suppose? Mayor Cranion claims that his catastrophic policies are based on the advice of the Oracle. I have my advi I, bleh, I have my doubts about that, and I'd like you to find out whether he's telling the truth. The Isle of the Oracle, the ancients' texts say, is very hard to reach since no one can sail there who has not first found it through the path of the Logos. To find the path of the Logos, they say, you must drink of the potion of change, then stand between the pillars of an ancient gate and walk into eternity. I do not know precisely what that means, and the book that contained the information was accidentally lost by Mayor Cranion. But perhaps you can convince him to tell you something about the potion. What is or who is Kaliste? Kaliste, also called the Isle of the Earth, was an island. Oh, right, that island, yeah was an island to the east of here. A few decades ago, it was destroyed by a volcanic explosion, which also resulted in massive waves that caused incredible devastation in all the coastal communities. It is another contributing factor in the current poverty of these islands and damage. This is not what a library is supposed to look like. I'm very sorry, but that buffoon of a guard did a lot of damage before I could kick him out. People with no respect for books are frightening. Oneropolis Compendium Book 1. Okay, so thing I like about this game, I really love it, is that every one of these books has a title. Oneropolis University Companion to the Work of Stephen King, 5th Edition. This tiny red one. The 13 Blessings of Sugarath. Also unknown. Uh, that appears to have been stolen from a different uh, universe. This purple one is the Mighty Orinoco. Yeah. An endochronic, the endochronic properties of resublimated thiotimaline by Isaac Asimov. A Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. Good book. These books have had their description barbarically damaged. Sophia is working on fixing them. I love the humor of this. Uh, I don't need anything here. Ship. Caliste. Flower. Tiny flowers growing in the black sand. I would actually like to say that even though volcanoes do cause massive destruction, afterwards, life does tend to flourish there, which I find fascinating. You can uh, fairly often the remains of an ancient building, perhaps a temple, a library, or even someone's home. You can often find plants growing in cooled, um, cooled lava flows. Window is fire resistant, but I need special gloves. Pyrogenic puppies are not on fire, so they're still alive. Most things do die when they catch fire. Hmm. Oh, oh, um, I was going to the Isle of the Sun to talk to Captain Dumbass, the mayor, or whatever his name is, Cranion, there you go, book. The book you are referring to was accidentally misplaced, but there's no point searching for it here, as it was not I who misplaced it, but Lord Urzen's representative, Arshadel. You can visit his ship and talk to him if you like, but I assure you that it is better to focus on more important matters. And no, I cur cannot currently recall the recipe. If you are so, why are you so undemocratic as to mistrust my word? That's an odd accusation to make. And it forces me to immediately go to the shadow ship. And leave it here, because robots with guns... And me not knowing how long I've been playing means cliffhanger. <laughs>